Hello and welcome to the Fast Report Academy. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how you can convert Quick Report reports into the Fast Report VCL format. So, Quick Report templates are essentially Delphi forms in the DFM format. Here you can see an example of such report template. First, I will describe this template and then proceed to the conversion procedure. I made it somewhat similar to the simple list report you can find in the Fast Report VCL demo. These three objects contribute to the data connection, and then we have three bands on the report component. This band is a report title, which is repeated once in the whole report. Then this band is a column header, repeated once per data column. Both of them have labels, which simply display predetermined text. Next, there's a detail band, which has a different kind of object on it. QR DB text. It's made for displaying data from a data source, and the band repeats every time for each entry in it. By setting this property, the report is connected to the customer's dataset. You can see that the QRDB texts have a selector of fields to display. And notice that the detail band has no data connection of its own. And finally, if we look at the preview of this report, it will look like this. So, now let's take a look at how you can convert this template. We'll start from a blank project. So firstly, you need to have Fastport VCL already installed and its components added to your IDE, which is the default behavior after a successful installation. Create an empty Windows VCL application. Add these five components to it. FRX Report, FRX Designer, Open Dialog, Save Dialog and Button. Add this to the Users section Converter QR to FR. After that, create a click event for the button and add the following code to it. The algorithm is as such. The application opens a dialog and lets you choose a file. Then the report components tries to load it as a report template. Conversion happens here. If it successfully loads, then it tries to save it. And then the report is opened in the report designer. By the way, you can copy this code from the article this video is based on. A link to it will be in the description. So, let's do a demonstration. The quick report template I've demonstrated is called simplereport.dfm. So, let's open it. It was opened correctly, so the application gives us an option to save it. Let's save it as simplereport.fr3. FR3 is the template format of FastReport VCL. And after that, it gets opened in the report designer, as expected. Since this report has a dataset, we need to do a few things. Remove the dataset from the page properties and bind the databand to the dataset. FastReport requires the databand to specify its data source. Let's try opening it again so you can see it can be opened separately from the app. So, as you can see, the report opened again correctly. And let's take a look at what elements it's made of. The bands have been converted into the appropriate analogs in FastReport. Notice that both the label and database text objects have transformed into the same objects, FRX memo view. They've also inherited their original names, which can help you maintain and build expressions based on their contents. And finally, the preview looks identical to the quick report preview. I'd like to add that there's a table of various quick report components and the corresponding fast report components. And a few of them don't have a direct analog. So be sure to check the article I've mentioned and take a look at the list. And this was today's video about fast report VCL. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel, in which we demonstrate Fast Report VCL and our other products in detail. You can find all the playlists in the description.